Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever, wherever you are. Uh, today's date is September 17, 2024. This is a Kickstarter video where I take a look at the three other major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar, the dollar versus yen, and the sterling versus U.S. dollar from a technical perspective. I might add the dollar versus Canada as they had uh, CPI data while the U.S. had retail sales today. And uh, that is uh, helping to uh, support the dollar versus Canada. So let's take a look at that currency pair as well. So let's get started. Looking at the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar, we are seeing a move back to the downside. Uh, the retail sales data came in okay, better than expected for the headline number. You know, there's a lot of data within the retail sales, so there's uh, you know lots of little nuances. But overall, uh, the uh, we are seeing the yields move a little bit higher uh, with the two-year now up 3.2 uh, basis points. Uh, the uh, uh, the 10 years up 1.1 basis point that is helping to push the dollar higher technically uh, the price that did try to uh, get above this uh, swing area through here before the data european session moved higher came back down uh, moved higher again right before the data uh, before rotating back to the downside so the vote is in for a lower euro versus u.s dollar after the failure to extend uh, to the upside here from a technical perspective uh, we could look down toward this level as uh, the next uh, support level at 1.1097 up down to 1.1104 uh, and uh, move below that level uh, and it opens the door for uh, these moving averages down here but uh, this level uh, was a key level so i would expect some stall against this level you can see the number of time, different times at the market found support against this area right here trying to stay above that level and then move below the level through here the unemployment uh, data from last week uh, or the week before actually uh, caused all this volatility right through here but trading uh, uh, on Friday and again yesterday this area did find uh, some resistance before breaking to the upside so if we do move, lo move lower uh, this is the uh, next key target look for support against that level let's uh, take a look at the dollar versus yen next and uh, this uh, currency pair has moved higher as well off of the uh, data we did uh, move higher yesterday uh, in the early European or to early today in the early, early Asian session but uh, found willing sellers early against the 100 bar hour moving average it's in this chart the price has uh, started to move back higher again getting above this uh, swing area 140.714 level it was a low price in trading uh, last week uh, before uh, breaking the lower over here uh, admittedly the price moved above and below the level we tried to stay below the level and trade here today as you can see see but then uh, moved to the upside after the uh, retail sales data the 100 hour moving average comes in at 141.236 admittedly last week uh, the price that didn't move above those levels here and here uh, without much success uh, but uh, getting above that level and staying above that level is would be more bullish for the dollar versus yen so watch that 141.236 level uh, as a level to get to and through if the dollar is to go higher versus the yen. Uh, uh, and uh, finally, we'll take a look at the, not finally, we're going to take a look at the sterling versus US dollar. I promise we do the dollar Canada as well. And uh, for this uh, currency pair, uh, unlike the euro, uh, we did have this uh, swing area here where the market did find uh, willing sellers against the high of that uh, swing area before the uh, data came out and pushed the price even further to the downside. The decline is uh, fairly modest. In fact, we haven't taken out the low price from earlier today, so we do need to get below that level. Uh, I guess that comes in a little bit around the 132 level, if not a little bit below that level. Uh, and uh, if we get below that level, then uh, we look uh, for further selling, maybe down toward the 130, 178 level. And if we get below that level, back down toward these moving averages down through here. But this, uh, the price would need to get above these levels up here between 132.21 and 132.30 to increase the bullish bias. Uh, we will uh, so keep those levels in mind. Finally, let's uh, take a look at the dollar versus uh, Canada. The uh, uh, CPI data out of Canada came in uh, weaker than expectations, 2% uh, for the headline year on year. That's the uh, target level or the low of the target level. And uh, the, we also have the unemployment rate in Canada moving up to 6.6% last month, uh, which was uh, the highest level going back to 2017. If you discount don't take into consideration the COVID spike. So we have higher unemployment, we have lower inflation, and the uh, dollar can't have moved up, uh, but we did find resistance sellers against the low of this uh, swing area, 136.15 up to 136.22. Uh, the, uh, the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart is just above that, 136.23. Uh, the 38.2% is at 136.33. Uh, the price needs to get above this technical area up through here to increase the bullish bias. 
uh, from a technical perspective, the fundamentals are there uh, for this type of move, but uh, the will has to be there, the buyers need to be there, and they need to get show themselves by getting above the technical levels. If they can't do that, it's just as much a chance for a disappointment, uh, but I would expect that the 100-hour moving average and 200-day moving average would be a good uh, job of trying to hold support. Maybe they're waiting for the Fed, and if the Fed does 50 basis points, then it's going to be down for the dollar versus Canada anyway, but uh, at least temporarily. But uh, uh, if they do 25 basis points, we should see a run, uh, run to the upside as the Bank of Canada seems like they should do 50 basis points at their next meeting in October. So there you have it, a look at uh, four of the major currency pairs this morning. Uh, my name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.